The bald eagle was once a member of the class of 67, the first endangered species list. The eagle, which was once a common sight across much of the country, was brought to its knees by pesticides, according to Matt Whitbeck, the wildlife biologist at the Blackwater Wildlife Refuge in Dorchester County. Pesticide, yeah, the pesticide DDT was responsible for, uh, essentially thins the, uh, the eggshells for the bald eagles. So um, they weren't reproducing. It wouldn't kill the, uh, the adult birds, but essentially prevent them from uh, reproducing. The bald eagle was put on the list, DDT was banned, and the eagles have made a strong comeback in the past few decades, as evidenced by the annual survey Blackwater does of their population. We got a count of 207 uh, eagles, which is incredible. Um, the counts we got back in the early 80s when we started this, numbers were 20, 25 birds, and that really illustrates how much the eagle population has recovered here um, in the Chesapeake Bay. Improvements have been seen nationwide too, not just here on Delmarva. In 1995, the bald eagle was lowered from endangered down to threatened, and in 2007, it was removed from the list entirely. The strong population has given some locals like Pete Robbins of Linkwood quite a show. He recalls one time he saw an eagle defending a fish he caught from some thieving foxes. And boy, he set those wings and those feet, and here he come. I don't know what his speed was, but it was terrific. And you talk about fox moving out. <laughs> they, they made themselves quite scarce. Robbins has lived in the area for decades and built his new home just a few years ago with plenty of windows to watch the Eagles every day. I hate to admit it, but that's my best thing anymore, just sit and watch him. <laughs> yeah, we really enjoy it. With a resurgence in population comes unexpected issues. At Tri-State Bird Rescue in Newark, Delaware, the number of birds coming in for rehab after territorial disputes has increased in the past 10 years. With more birds moving in and a little bit less habitat than there was 20 or 30 years ago, there are disputes over suitable nesting sites. But she sees it as a mix of positive and negative. Negative, of course, that there are disputes, but positive in that the birds have become plentiful enough that it's even an issue. On top of that, eagles still face the struggles of habitat encroachment from humans, and Smith says lead poisoning from hunters is another problem they face. Their team deals with these hurdles and more with the bald eagle on a daily basis, but it's something they're passionate about. They are a beautiful and majestic bird and uh, very powerful. Um, and I think just people identify, can really identify with them. And um, they're, they're just really cool. With the help of the endangered species list, the passion of bird watchers, and people like Tri-State Bird Rescue, America's symbol of freedom, the bald eagle, has taken back to the skies with the largest population we've seen in over 50 years. Reporting on the Midshore, Tyler Butler, WBOC News.